Hello, I'm back with the last card. I saved some of the die cutting on this one. This is going to be the last card. I lost my little card. I no longer have a cat. This is the one we're doing, but I'm doing my take on it. I'm, you know, I think VNA did a take on hers and she, and it was different. And I'm even going a little bit in left field just because I try sometimes to not be a total copycat. So there you go. So I have all these pieces, but one thing I did want to show you guys is to how to die cut this piece right here. So it's just a little bit different. So I just wanted to really quickly, I, I did all of the other die cutting. So I already cut this base right here. And of course, this is just your, you know, it's a basic A2 card. So this is obviously four and a quarter by five and a half. So actually, let me take a moment. We're going to do that before we die cut. Let me set these things aside. Let me, you know what? No, I changed my mind again because I can't make up my mind. We're going to set this aside for now. Let's do all the die cut. The, I mean, all the, I want to die cut this piece first. Can I speak English? Blech. Apparently not. But all we're going to need to do is we are going to, oops, this is a little piece of a scrap piece and this is going to backfire on me. Oh, darn. But I have one little piece left. Ah, because like what I did, you know what I did? I measured it against this and I'm like, oh, yay, it fits. Yay. Wrong. You dingleberry. So I have to, this is where, so it's like literally guys are the gold, the gold card. This is what I have left of that one sheet. Now, my question is, I think I'm going to have to trim this down a little bit because it's not going to, oh my gosh, it barely misses this by a half an inch. That, it hurts me. But what I'm going to do is cut it in a more usable, a more usable strip. So let's see, let's go down here. I just want to go a little bit on the outside. So I'm going to knock it right here. Put a little notch there that I can see. So that I have a more usable piece of this gold left. Because I can, I mean, I have a stash of gold card. I have a lot of gold card. I like that this is not, it's kind of like a combination on this gold card. And this is what came in the kit from Spellbinders. It's not a mat. And I do like mirror mat. I think it's my favorite. But it is not like, wah, you know, in your face shiny either. So it's a bit of a mix. But anyway, with this one, to do, to do the cutout frame, you literally layer all three dies in. And then you do a, a small amount of squidgeting. Let me grab my, my um, washi tape already. Because I'm a pie. I think I'm going to have to do a top and bottom. I don't need that big of a piece. Hello. Okay. But what I want to do is line these all up. Oh my, this is going to be. That's all. This is a lot of widgeting to line these all up nicely. I think. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to do this because it'll take me too long if I'm doing it on camera. Give me a second. Okay, it's like, I'm sorry about that, but it was going to take me too long to sit here and try to do this on camera. And the problem is I was trying to not take a lot of time to do it. It really didn't take me. The minute I went off camera, I got it set up instantly. So that's, so it takes a little bit of time because you got to do three layers and you're trying to center them. One thing I'm going to tell you on this die, if you're using a marquee or any die cutter, Always do a little, do it a little bit cattywampus, just like that. Especially with the marquee, it's going to let it go in a lot easier. And then we just take it, and I'm going to run it right through. Trust me, because I already tried doing it straight on, and the marquee balked. It's just like, yeah, it ain't going in, lady. I don't know. I don't care what you think. It ain't happening. The minute I turned it just that little bit of a slant, bing, bam, boom. And here you go. So now we have... Some scrap gold that later we can cut out more stars or whatever out of it. So I'm not, I'm saving all of the only thing I'm not going to save. I could save that little piece, but we're not going to save these two pieces. So these can go by, by Felicia. And now we have this really cool background that we can use in something else. I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do with it. But there we have that now. We'll set away apart our dies. But now all we need, well, what we have is this little piece and it is delicate it is definitely delicate. Now we're keeping keep that here. We're using that. <coughs> Excuse me. But it will now go on top of where I do where did I do with the bottom layer? Where'd it go? I've I've lost it. I have hidden it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> but see now we have our frame that we can't pick up. There we go. And there's our lovely little frame. So easy peasy Japanesey. Let me grab my barely art, and we're just going to use Myra's tried and true method of gluing 
things that are skinny like this down. I'm just going to do a rip, you know, just a little bit of glue. And, oh, this bottle is just a bit clogged, so it's going to take a minute for me. And I'm, I'm laying down way more glue than I really, really need. And I'm not stressing this because I have still quite a bit of glue left. I might be singing a little bit on a different song once I start running out of it. But right now, we're good. And that's all I'm going to tap, tap it in. Just make sure that it makes contact all the way around with the glue. Just so it adheres down. And then... We're going to carefully just pretty much drop it down. So there is some care. The, again, as always, I'll remind everybody with Barely Art Glue is that it dries matte. So it will be essentially invisible. You will not see it. Okay. Although, mindly, mind you, excuse me, is if you're, what you're drawing on is not matte and it's mirror, then you want to make sure you pick up any glue that's outside because you don't want that because then it will you'll see the difference where the glue is but okay so now we have that piece down I'm gonna grab real quick my little wet cloth because not only the glue anymore so see I did waste quite a bit of glue but again I don't care okay we'll set that aside and now we are ready to do our little layering thing so let me grab handy dandy big mama and we're just going to go through here. And I'm just going to go pretty much almost all the way around. On this, lay down my tape. I always go one in the middle just because. I don't know why. But I want to make sure. Okay, make sure that lays flat. Now let me take a moment. Hold my breath. And do it this way. Because I wanted, I when I cut this paper, I wanted to make sure that there was a lot right here. I wanted that busy part. To be visible so i want it to remain being visible so i'm putting it in the bottom i opted to put it in the bottom left hand corner why i don't know that's just where i wanted it okay so now we have our base down now we are ready for this and this i'm going to go ahead and just lay down on the paper because this is just paper weight it's not very sturdy i mean i could fix that quite frankly and by cutting another base and just layering one on top of the other. Do I want to? I wonder what they did. I wonder how it's done in the sample. Let me take a peek. But I think it's laid out. Oh, no, it's dimensional. It looks to me dimensionalized. And I like the concept. So give me one sec. I'm going to come back. I'm going to cut out another of this layer just out of white cardstock. And we're going to layer it just to strengthen it. Give me a sec. All right, kids. I've cut my little white piece just out of a sturdier. I used the, the Hobby Lobby paper that I have. Because it's just a little bit, just 80 pounds. I don't need it, like, again, to survive, like, the zombie apocalypse. It doesn't have to, you know, hold up the foundation of a building. It's just to, st to make this sturdier. So what I should have done is gone around the edge over here. So we'll try to make up for that right now. And we're going to unclog this bottle. <laughs> it's, just, it's clogged. It's just, I can tell that somewhere. And that's even with my little pin thingy. In there, there we go. This should now be, now I got to be careful because now it'll want to come out like, wow, and yeah, a little bit more, but not hugely. Okay. So now, actually, I would not have normally done it. I would have done it on this layer, but ah. now all I have to do is just lay this down right on top of it and line it up. There, problem solved. Crisis averted, and the crowd goes wild. <sighs> There we go. And that was your moment of madness. Okay. So now I feel a lot better because I really did want to pop it up. So now where are my dimensional foamies that have been? Now we're going to take, we're just going to lay this down a little bit heavy up because I want to have space for the kick. The cake will go right here. So not two, because all I really have to make space for are these two pieces right here. And maybe I'll put something we'll figure out in a minute. So I think this is going to work. So a little bit up, but not by much. Let's make sure that looks pretty centered. Is it straight? Let me look. I'm going to look at it from this way so I can tell. I think it's a little off center. 
Let's take a look again. Maybe my eyes are crooked. I don't know. That, that, you know, that I would definitely believe. Okay. And we're not going to commit. And now we're going to put in our little make a wish. Do I want to even pop it up further? No, I think I'm going to lay it flat because the other stuff will, will add dimension to. So we're just going to take tape. There we go. And we're going to do that. Very cool. Now the cake, of course, we need to pop it up above. I want it to overlap. That's my personal vision, I think. Okay. I think. So we'll see. We're sticking it on the marquee right now just because I need to detach it from me. I'm just going to take that and burnish it down because you do just take that little moment to do that. It makes these tapes come right back, come up much easier. I find because this is the bottom, the foam is taped down really well. And then this one. Okay. So we're going to put our cake. This is what I wanted to do. I'm going to put the cake. Whoops. That one, I'm going to lay it right there. Which, for all honesty, it did not need these foamies back here, but they are now. So we're just going to leave it. Yeah, it works. Now what I am going to do is this also. I want to pop it up. So I'm going to put our dream big. I wanted that right. Oh, look, I just caught this. Barely, I barely spotted it. But I could see it. And it was going to bother me. And then I would be trying to do this while it's glued down to the card. So always double check on these kind of die cuts. Take a moment and take, you know, run your finger. I mean, I can feel one right there, but it's not, you can't even really see it. I can just feel it. But take a moment and check that. Check your, your die cuts just so you know. So you can see, though, because it's, you know, again, it's all in the details. Now I want to grab, I do really like the flower concept. I just didn't want to do it all flower. I really wanted to include the cake. And then this cake has the pink and the blue flowers, which we've got here. So I've just got to make up my mind what I want to use. And I may go literally with the same takeoff from the cake. So grab the bigger, the bigger rose. And then I think I'm going to use this one too. Now I have to decide to go, I think, and I'm wondering, you know what, as I'm taking this, hang on guys, you know what, here, there we go. This is what I'm going to do because I wanted to incorporate leaves. We're going to still use these stickers, so I'm going to stick the sticker back. Connection successful. I'm so glad the connection was successful. That's my um, computer. I, I must have touched somehow the mouse. I don't, I don't know why. But anyway, so we are going to go ahead and lay this one. I think I want it right here, so I'm going to put one of the wider, I'm running out of fingers. <laughs> so we're gonna put that right about here. Cause I wanna lay that flower here. This is what I'm kind of visualizing. Do I want it here? And then the blue one there? Yeah. Oops, hello. You think maybe I should remove the tape? You think that might help? Might surprise us, right? So now we'll put that one. And then the blue one, I can now take one of these pieces, trim it. We'll take that because that's almost, that's a little square right there. There we go. Now, let me see, do I want it right here? Yeah, because this is the long, kind of the longest part and be careful because I've now I've done that but now I've stuck my, my finger is really stuck 
to that the the adhesive and I don't you know as we you know we our finger fingers have oil so I don't want to leave my oils there because I want it to stick and there we go so now we have oh you know what can I remove this do I have actually I can ha this is the best part because this is a sticker I want it a little bit farther off or maybe a little bit this way Oh my gosh, indecisiveness is the enemy. And there we go. Now, I still, it. this is, I mean, for all intents and purposes, it is almost done. But I want to add some um, some sparkle. And well, I also drag, or you know what? I know what I want to do. Change my mind. Pass those. Is the sequence. Those sequins that have that iridescent blue would be perfect. Absolutely what the doctor ordered, in my personal opinion, you know. We all know about opinions. So let me just grab a pinch full of these guys. I think, you know what, we're just going to start laying these down and the heck with it. Okay, give me a second. How the glue is not coming out white, I'm going to kill this cat. <laughs> Don't report me to the SPCA. Elvis, no, baby. We're going to the cubby. Go to the cubby. There you go. Good boy. <sighs> I'm telling you. Okay, but now I got it to run white. So that's one thing. Be careful. Obviously, I thought that was a stainless steel pin, and it was not. So stainless steel, if you don't use a stainless steel pin, but you use these to keep these from clogging, it will it, it makes it oxidizes the glue can you see there if you look at that glue right there look how much darker it is before i got it to run white so always be careful about the pins and i thought i really did think because i know that all right you come here now that you decided to flip all righty really you know i'm struggling like this because i'm on camera right <laughs> And that glue just really wants to come out. But I'm not going to stress it because that will all, all of this will dry clear. Okay, let's grab you next. We'll do a little right there. Yes, Elvis, you just did that. You just turned the fan on. <laughs> oh, my cats. I do not know how it is that I put up with them and why you guys put up with me and the cats. There we go. And I want to put some, I'm going to put one down here in the corner just because I can. I have just foiled the cat from, I just want to put him right there in the corner. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, and the fan just turned itself off again. So maybe it wasn't Elvis. Okay. And that I'm going to put the right now in me. Oh my gosh. What did I just glue with the pen? Eek. Okay, well, it's not a good pen. It is better than no pen. But there you go. There you have our card. So I have the other ones right here, right? No, I don't. <laughs> Hang on just a second. Alrighty, folks, I found the other two cards. I was just commenting to the peanut gallery. I think I may have to start locking the cats in the bedroom again when I shoot video just to stop this because this is just borderline annoying. I mean, it could be quaint and cute, but yeah, I don't know. So here are the cards. Here are our sample cards. These are the ones I did. My takes on what I will say something. I am not necessarily super happy with that. Um, excuse me with the sentiment there. I may redo it and I may, what I may do is just stamp it go get my find my gold ink stamp it in gold ink and then emboss it with clear because i just i want it more crisper although by the same token remember that we have look at that be bright be happy be you never mind i know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna steal that one and replace it in that spot but there you go these are just three cards using basically their inspiration sheet and deviating a little bit where i wanted to and there is so much more you could do. I have just touched the, you know, the tip of the iceberg 
with the amount of supplies they put in there. I do have, let me open up here. I do have another card plan. I just haven't decided what I'm going to do because Dingleberry here cut the other piece of paper the wrong size. So I have an extra of these and then this paper is now cut A2 size. So I'm going to have to come up with something. So we will see. I may, you know, I, I may do this real quick and include it at the end or, or, I'll show it to you guys in the future, but there you go. There is this paper. It's just extra because I cut wrong. <sighs> and there, there are no mistakes. Remember, I've said it, no mistakes, only opportunities for creativity. So it will get used. But thanks a lot, guys. I just wanted to show you some of the cool things that can be done with the car kit. I'm going to be busting out all these dies and everything from this, the October kit, because I'm really jazzed. I really want to work this. So, But I did want at least do something that I could upload rather, rather quickly because this all arrived yesterday. I was hoping to have it all uploaded today. That didn't happen. So it'll be another day. I will edit this and hopefully it'll come up tomorrow. So thank you so much for hanging out with me, for putting up with my antics, for putting up with the cat's antics. If you want to see more of all of our shenanigans, then by all means, uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and ding the bell, and you know when the three of us, all of us are going to be hanging out here in our shenanigans, <laughs> all right? And again, thanks so much. Thanks so much for hanging out here with us, guys. I will see you at the next one, but do not forget, as always, in this crafting corner of madness, we're all a little mad here, so scrap the madness with me, okay? Talk to you guys later. Bye.